Good morning. It's time for the November video. Um, I think everybody's probably ready for Thanksgiving break. We actually get a couple of days off. So um, once again, I do want to clarify because I think for some reason there was a little bit of misunderstanding in the way that we published some dates that um, the Thanksgiving break actually starts on Wednesday, which I believe is November the 20th. Yes, and so everybody is, we are closed on that day except for the HPE Center, um, but everything is a normal day on the Tuesday before that. So offices that have extended hours like um, the computer lab or the library or the gym will keep their normal hours and then um, we will still have the, cl the same class schedule at night that, we've nor that we would normally have um, on that particular day. Um, I want to thank everybody for some of the fundraising efforts that we've had going on for different um, things, specifically the United Way campaign. Uh, Mona Lee Armstrong has been our campaign chair this year, but she has set up a very active and I would say very creative committee this year to come up with some unusual activities that have been a whole lot more fun than some of the things that we've done in the past, and they're also proving to be uh, a lot better money makers than some of the things that we've done in the past. So specifically, I want to thank everybody who participated in the pie eating contest yesterday. Um, and I want to, I guess, thank Marcus and uh, Mindy for talking me into being in the pie eating contest. I was sort of embarrassed at how I could eat it, how I could eat so much pie in such a short amount of time. Um, that was embarrassing. Uh, and, but I'd also like to congratulate um, Jose Luguero for that astonishing feat of eating that whole pie in five minutes. And also Nikki Cardenas for her nice second place finish and then that lovely picture on the front page of the Clovis News Journal today. Um, the PIAC, the Professional Association though, will also be conducting a toy drive that was going on now through December 7th. So they've placed um, boxes and things around so if anyone has any um, toys that you've purchased that you want to donate for that. I encourage everyone to participate in that. We usually have pretty good participation in that every year and I think that's um, a very nice thing for them to be able to do. Um, also, CAB is sponsoring their annual Thanksgiving lunch on Monday. It will be at 11.30 out in the Commons and the 4.0 Cafe is going to be catering the luncheon so the food should be really good. Um, and thanks to Dana and his group for organizing that and getting that off the ground. I think everybody now has come to look forward to this every year because this is the you know third year or so in a row that he's done this. Um, also, Christy Mendoza's theater class will be performing Twelfth Night on November 28th, 29th, and 30th, and then also on December 1st. Um, Twelfth Night is a Shakespearean comedy. It's sort of in a mixed genre type thing. Um, but they're doing a steampunk version of Twelfth Night. So if you're not sure what a steampunk version of Twelfth Night is, and I still am a little bit unclear on exactly what that is, <laughs> although she does have a very cool looking set that looks like it has part of a skateboard park in it, then you'll, you should go to one of those performances and find out what a steampunk version of Twelfth Night is. Twelfth Night is a fun play. I know her students have been working really, really hard to master the dialogue and things like that because there are always challenges with Shakespeare. Um, and then this will also be part of the American Theater Festival's film or um, theater competition. So they will be uh, judged one of those nights and students will be competing for Irene Ryan Awards and everything. And we've always done very well in the past. So expect for them to do very well again. Um, Mostly, I really would like, just like to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. Um, I hope that everybody enjoys their time off. I think everybody deserves a little bit of time off. And this is the point in the semester where whether you teach or just help everyone who teaches and everything, that people start to go a little bit crazy. And so a little bit of time off is a good thing for everyone. So have a very happy and a very safe Thanksgiving.